What is going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here and in today's video we're going to be discussing a Cardano NFT game that could potentially make you a millionaire. Now I'm not going to drag this out and tease you which project this might be. I'm talking about Dead Pixels, a amazing interactive project built on the Cardano blockchain and today we're going to be talking about kind of how could this make you a millionaire and before we get into that, I want to let you guys know a lot of disclaimers here. This is all speculation. There's no guarantees. And if you're looking for a video to make you a millionaire, it's probably not going to do that. You know, it's probably not going to do it all for you. So keep that in mind. This is all speculation. We're having fun, but I really love this project. It's one of the first NFT projects that I fell in love with. And I think it has a lot going for it, making it bullish in not only the sense of collecting, but also being able to play to earn in their upcoming game. And when I say their upcoming game, I want to let you guys know this is ran by one person, AF. And this guy is not only a Plutus pioneer and developer for many, many years, but he has a lot of experience doing things that are good. And you can see by this website, it's unique and it's awesome. You can explore and everything. We're going to get into that in a sec, but I also want to let you guys know that from a collection standpoint, these might also make millionaires. NFTs are all the raise. And truthfully, a lot of these projects aren't going to last the next wave. Uh, the next wave being, you know, are these projects established enough and have a strong enough uh, amount of people that are willing to hold these when they go down to a lot less than they are at now. Speaking of that, right now, Cardano is only at 229. So we also have to keep in mind when you're collecting an NFT, if those are to retain their value, they're also going to be worth more because the price of Cardano is worth more. And, you know, these NFTs are priced in Cardano ADA. So looking at that and considering that, we're going to go to Dead Pixels uh, on the charts of OpenSea NFT to see what they've been up to for the past 24 hours, 7 days, and 30 days. So first of all, we're going to click on Dead Pixels. You're going to see in the last 24 hours, it's the second most popular you know, traded volume NFT. And that's for a reason that we're going to get into in just a sec when we get to this play to earn factor. But I want to talk about how fundamentals matter so much on a project. And even though there is only, I believe, 2000 holders of these, um, if we go and zoom out, you can we can see the holders. So yeah, 2000 wallet holders for 10,000 NFTs. But these are people who have a lot of faith in the project and are here to really be there for the long term. So keep that in mind too. Now, you're going to see when we go down here, their floor price is now, you know, this says 69, but the floor price is more or less at 380. So if you care about floor prices, which a lot of people do, because it is somewhat important to, you know, is this a good investment? How could this go? We're at an all time high for floor prices. But if you see on the daily chart, this is the past month of floor prices. I was announcing and talking about dead pixels for the past two and a half months. Well, the floor prices were at 20. I put them on the S tier in my CNFT tier list. And now they shot up to not 99, but actually much more than that, about 340 when you go to the CNFT marketplace and try to buy one. You're going to see here all the prices they're selling for 400, 500, 400, 390, 300, 300, 300, 350. You know, it's not that low of prices considering they minted at 50 ADA. Now, why is this happening? Why the sudden jump in everything, right? Why are all these pixels selling for crazy amounts of dollar value and ADA value? Well, it's actually because of the white paper. Now, I'm not saying you should go ape into this project. Please, please, please be careful. Never spend all of your money on one project or dump it into something unless you're okay with losing that money. Okay, I want to make that abundantly clear. Be careful. Please always do your own research. Just because you watch this video doesn't mean you should go ape into dead pixels. You should go look at it yourself, make some decisions, and everything that you make the decision for is on you, my friend. So be careful. Take your time. We're not in a rush. And honestly, it's all just fun and games in the end. So be careful. Now, with those huge disclaimers out of the way, let's go through this white paper a bit. Now, most NFT projects don't have white papers. 
at least in Cardano. Cardano is still developing, we're still early, and there's not many projects that take it to this level. Even my own project has yet to take it to this level uh, of kind of finality and detail into a roadmap into what's going on behind the scenes and what the plans are for the long term of this project. Now you're going to see here there's a there's a table of contents and we're not going to go over everything in the white paper. I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description so you can go over it and really kind of see it for yourself. Take it in with your own accord. But I am going to go over some things that I find very interesting for the long term of this project and also for the play to earn side of things that could possibly make you a millionaire. But to tell you the truth, many of these projects could potentially quote unquote, make you a millionaire. What I'm looking at here is a long term project that in the event the NFT market crashes, there's going to be people who are still going to be there with the project and kind of also a really strong founder who is a developer and knows what they're doing in the side of making technical advancements for the project. Should also mention that I do hold about 17 dead pixels and I love the founder of this project. So everything I say, take it with a grain of salt as it is only my own opinion. Okay, so let's get going. Dead pixels. What are dead pixels? If you don't already know, they're basically 10,000 different NFTs on the Cardano blockchain. There will only be ever 10,000 of these dead pixels. Now, some are more rare than others, depending on attributes. Some attributes are more rare. And depending on their base, uh, the main base is the dead base. There's also some reptiles and wolves and other bases and aliens that are more rare. But that's basically what you need to know for now. So they can add different attributes. I believe there's 69 different attributes they can have. And they can have different bases. And they can have different numbers of both of those things. Well, not the bases. Now, in the white paper, you're going to see... In the table of contents, the part we're really looking at is the roadmap, the forge, the game, and those three things are the most important uh, for making you a millionaire because that's what you came here for. So let's get down to it. In terms of the roadmap, the distribution of these 10,000 is already complete. That's why we're looking at the aftermarkets and that's why the floor is so high because many people want to participate in this project, but in order to participate, um, from the ground up, at least, they're going to have to buy some dead pixels off the aftermarket and they are kind of going to be extorted for their price because not many people want to sell them. So after this has been complete they're in this year, quarter four or next year, quarter one around there, that is when the Pixel Forge is going to launch. Now, what is the Pixel Forge? Well, this is kind of one of those initiatives to bring a lot of rewards to the people who hold a lot of pixels. Any holder who basically holds a pixel will be rewarded when people make pixels in the pixel forge, if they use the assets or attributes that their pixels have. So it's going to be broken down later in the white paper, but that's pretty important. Essentially for holding pixels, every attribute that you own on one of your pixels gets paid to have that attribute and paid every five days at that. So it's pretty cool. Another awesome thing about this is a play to earn factor. This is pretty insane. I know a lot of games, a lot of NFT products on Ethereum and other blockchains have done this before, but I'm super excited to see how this plays out because not only can you play to earn, but there is multiple ways to add more value to a treasury through the forge and also bring value back to the original set of NFTs. So kind of three streams of uh, finality for the holders. So in terms of the forge, you can see a really good diagram here. You forge the pixels, the proceeds go back into a pool for distribution on a five day cycle. And those get put into four different slots. You know, the original pixel holders who have those holder who have those pixels with the random attributes that people have used to forge. Uh, fee coverage, special rewards, and also the tr wars treasury. So basically the play to earn rewards. So that's pretty cool. And it's all really broken down in a nice way. And honestly, I've never seen something this clean, this simple, and that makes this much sense upon first look. So that's where I'm headed with this. I believe this could be something huge. I've said it a month ago when the floors were 20. And I'll say it again. I really believe in this founder and I believe in everyone involved in this project as a community because it's pretty awesome to see the amount of love in the community and the amount of people who are really there to have some fun 
and also the amount of people who aren't going to sell their pixels for anything less than a house or a car. Real quick, I want to go over the forging of a pixel and if you held a pixel from the original set, the maybe example of how much royalties you could get per every five days per epoch say. So looking at this, you have a pixel with five attributes. Every time one of these attributes gets used, they have to pay a certain amount of ADA to use them. For example, the fire starter hair is more rare, so someone has to pay 30 ADA to add that to their forged pixel, which will give them, yes, a competitive advantage in the game. So keep that in mind. Now, the base is also 10 ADA to forge, and that is the base of this guy dead. Now, looking more, if we were to say, see 100 people use this in one epoch, use a fire starter hair, and 100 people use the headphones, and 100 people use it in love, and so on and so forth, they're gonna get a total of, of 22 ADA, just for holding this one. So it really depends on the demand of the game, but just for holding this this one pixel, so not, not five, not 10, not two, for this one. If you're to see this type of demand every five days, which I believe is 100 of each uh, and 200 mantles, which might be a bit overestimated, but we don't really know yet. But if we're to see this demand, you could see 22 ADA rolling in just for holding one pixel. So not only will the value of these pixels go up, but you can also say hold them and earn rewards for doing so. It really depends on the success of the game, but it's gonna be pretty crazy to see how this plays out if the game is popular if the game is a hit and we have no really way of seeing what the game is going to be it's going to be classic p 1v1 pvp battles and there's going to be pve quests which will help with level progression so it's going to be quite the fledged game especially for an nft series and i think with this solid foundation of people willing to hear things out and test things out i think it's going to be a hit that's what I'm saying. Obviously, I'm biased. I like the project. I'm going to play the game. I own Dead Pixels. So yeah, that is what I think the one of the biggest projects on Cardano is going to be. I believe Dead Pixels is going to be up there. Now, when we look at their Discord members or their Twitter metrics, you're actually going to see they're very underwhelming compared to some of the top projects. And I believe that's because many people don't quite yet see the value but with this white paper we've seen a lot of people be more interested in dead pixels and rightfully so because of play to earn and hold to earn i guess so two important metrics that i think are going to help it last through any kind of downturn of the nft market and also help people come aboard the project with interest in a good game developed for nft holders in conclusion will this project make you a millionaire probably not and if it does you're probably going to require to take some heavy risks to get there but everything i've said if you're interested whatsoever highly recommend you go read the white paper for yourself and then form your own conviction form your own bias and see what you think because i really do like this project so i thought i'd share it with you guys Yes, I run my own project. Yes, I want to do awesome things like this, and I'm going to, but I figured I might as well share with you guys something that I'm interested in and something that I enjoy that will probably also benefit you because I know it has helped a lot of people and has got people interested as I've talked about this in the past and I was, as I will continue to talk about this in the future. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next freaking video. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.